Today is September 12th, 2024. My name is Nicodemus and welcome to the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. Today, we're exploring two groundbreaking developments that could reshape the future of the automotive and AI industries. First, we'll dive into Ford's bold move into NFTs and blockchain, signaling a new era for the auto giant. Then we'll examine the latest in the AI space as the ASI Alliance looks to strengthen its decentralized network by adding Kudos, a cloud computing powerhouse. So get ready for a deep dive into the intersection of technology, innovation, and the future of digital transformation. But first, let's talk about OpenAI's Strawberry. OpenAI is gearing up for another major release, and this time, it's all about reasoning. It's called Strawberry, and the new AI model is set to roll out as part of the ChatGPT service in the coming weeks. It promises to push artificial intelligence capabilities even further by focusing on more complex thinking tasks. But the question remains, will it live up to its hype? Strawberry represents a shift from the typical rapid response style of conversational AI. According to the information, this new model will think before answering. It'll take between 10 and 20 seconds to process a query. Now, this delay isn't just a pause. It's meant to simulate deeper reasoning, potentially improving accuracy and the quality of responses. Early testers noted that this feature set Strawberry apart from other models, like GPT-4, which offer near-instant responses. Honestly, I'm not convinced that folks are going to want to wait 10 to 20 seconds for a response, though. A report suggests that while Strawberry will be integrated into ChatGPT, it will also function as a standalone feature. How exactly users will access it is unclear, but the model is expected to handle only text-based queries at launch. And that's notable because OpenAI's more advanced models like GPT-4.0 are capable of handling text, voice, and even images. This version of Strawberry will not be multimodal. Also, it won't produce visual content or handle tasks across different formats, at least not yet. Now, the hype surrounding Strawberry started back in July. That was when Reuters reported that OpenAI was working on a new approach to its AI models and that it was codenamed Strawberry. Sam Altman is OpenAI's CEO, and he's been teasing the release ever since. In fact, he sparked online speculation in recent months with cryptic posts hinting at the project. The AI model is expected to have applications in a variety of fields, from business strategies to coding solutions. But despite all the excitement, early feedback from testers has been mixed. The model's extra processing time was intended to improve response accuracy. That said, some users reported that the 10 to 20 second wait didn't always give you better answers compared to the faster options like ChatGPT 4.0. Others noted that Strawberry struggled to maintain context from previous conversations. And that's a problem because maintaining that context is going to be a critical feature for complex ongoing tasks. As with other OpenAI releases, access to Strawberry may be limited initially. The company has a history of rolling out features like multimodal capabilities or advanced voice engines to select users, leaving the rest of us waiting for broader access. It's unclear how many people will get their hands on Strawberry right away. We also don't know if it will be available to free tier users or limited to paying customers. This latest development comes in the middle of a broader surge of interest and investment in AI. OpenAI's ChatGPT has already amassed over 1 million paying customers across its business products, and the company is showing no signs of slowing down, as businesses look to integrate more advanced AI solutions into their products and services. As OpenAI prepares to launch Strawberry, the AI world waits to see if this reasoning-focused model will live up to its promise, or if it will join the ranks of other tech products that never quite hit their stride with the general public. Ford Motor Company is making waves as it prepares to enter the rapidly evolving world of non-fungible tokens in the metaverse. With 19 trademark applications filed for its major car brands, Ford is looking to carve out a space in the new digital frontier. On September 2nd, Ford submitted a series of trademark applications with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, signaling its plans to expand into the Web3 space. Trademark attorney Mike Condoutis confirmed in a tweet that Ford's filings cover popular brands like Mustang, Bronco, Lincoln, Explorer, and the F-150 Lightning. The applications encompass virtual cars, trucks, SUVs, and even clothing, laying the groundwork for an NFT-based marketplace. According to the documentation, Ford is planning to produce downloadable artwork, text, audio, and video featuring its vehicles, all authenticated by NFTs. This move includes plans for downloadable virtual goods like digital vehicle parts and accessories for use in online virtual worlds. The company also intends to participate in virtual and augmented reality trade shows, further bridging the gap between physical and digital worlds. But Ford isn't stopping there. The automaker has revealed its ambitions to promote digital artwork through a dedicated marketplace, where NFTs and other digital collectibles could be sold. This marks a significant step into the Web3 ecosystem, an area rapidly gaining momentum across various industries. 
Interestingly, Ford's foray into NFTs comes on the heels of a major corporate downsizing. Just weeks ago, CEO Jim Farley and Executive Chairman Bill Ford announced large-scale job cuts aimed at reducing company costs. Despite these cuts, Ford's focus on futuristic technologies like NFTs and blockchain shows the company's commitment to remaining at the cutting edge. But Ford isn't the first automaker to explore this space. Nissan, Toyota, and Hyundai have already announced similar metaverse expansions, while luxury brands like Bentley and Lamborghini have rolled out their own NFT collections. However, Ford and Toyota are leading the pack when it comes to blockchain patents. Between them, the two automakers filed 43 blockchain-related patents in Q2 of 2024 alone, bucking the industry trend of a slowdown in filings. Blockchain technology holds immense potential in the automotive world. One recent Ford patent outlines a blockchain-based system to manage vehicle ownership through smart contracts. This system would allow for seamless, immutable vehicle title transfers. It would also use the blockchain as a transparent and unchangeable ledger. Toyota, on the other hand, has filed patents exploring the use of NFTs to track vehicles and storage, ensuring that each car's status is accurately logged on a digital ledger. Both Ford and Toyota are also recalibrating their approach to driverless technology. While autonomous vehicles remain a lofty goal, the companies have shifted focus to driver assistance systems. The integration of blockchain technology into smart city infrastructure could give both automakers a competitive edge as they continue to develop driverless vehicle innovations. As Ford and other major automakers dive deeper into the world of NFTs and blockchain, the future of the automotive industry seems increasingly intertwined with digital advancements, pushing the boundaries of what's possible both on the road and in the virtual realm. The Artificial Superintelligence Alliance is growing stronger. The alliance was originally formed by Singularity Net, Fetch AI, and Ocean Protocol. They announced plans to welcome a fourth member, Kudos. Kudos is a decentralized cloud computing provider. Now, nothing's finalized yet. This decision is still waiting for community approval, and the final decision will be made by a vote set for September 19th to the 24th. The integration of Kudos into the ASI Alliance marks a significant step in the group's mission to bolster decentralized AI capabilities. Matt Hawkins is the founder and CEO of Kudos, and he explained that joining the ASI Alliance will expand computational resources and utility within the network. With this collaboration, Kudos wants to accelerate the adoption of decentralized AI solutions by leveraging advanced graphics processing units to enhance AI processing power. Hawkins emphasized that this integration is not just about adding technical power. The decentralized cloud computing network of Kudos also pushes the ASI Alliance further towards its goal of reducing reliance on centralized cloud providers like Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. The Alliance has been vocal about the vulnerabilities of centralized systems, including risks of outages and cyber attacks. By decentralizing, the distribution of data and control across multiple independent nodes increases security and resilience, ensuring that the system remains functional even if one part of the network fails. Hume Yun Sheik is the CEO of Fetch AI and is the chairman of the ASI Alliance. He noted that decentralizing cloud infrastructure allows for greater innovation and democratizes access to AI technology. By reducing reliance on a single provider, the ASI Alliance aims to foster competition. They're looking to open the door for smaller businesses and developers to utilize cutting-edge AI without the barriers posed by large cloud service providers. While decentralized computing is championed for its scalability and security, Sheik admitted that there are challenges. Managing data across multiple nodes comes with its own set of complexities, including issues around performance, data integrity, and synchronization. The absence of centralized oversight also raises regulatory and governance concerns. That absence makes it harder to enforce standards and ensure compliance with laws and data protection regulations. Despite these hurdles, the ASI Alliance is pressing ahead with its vision. In fact, there's already a plan to migrate the Alliance's FET token to the ASI token. This would align all the members of the Alliance under a unified system. Sheikh hinted that progress on this transition would be seen in the coming months. At the core of the ASI Alliance's mission is a stark contrast between centralized and decentralized systems. Centralized cloud providers like AWS and Google Cloud dominate the market, but they come with inherent risks. One major failure could take down entire systems, leaving users vulnerable. In contrast, decentralized systems distribute data and processing power globally, ensuring that no single point of failure exists. Still, not all players in the crypto world are on board with the ASI Alliance's push for decentralization. Coinbase is one of the largest centralized cryptocurrency exchanges. Well, Coinbase announced that it would not support the migration of Ocean Protocol's native token to the FET token, or FET to ASI. This move stands in contrast to other exchanges like Binance and KuCoin, which did support the token migration. 
As the ASI Alliance continues its push for a decentralized AI-powered future, the divide between centralized control and decentralized innovation grows wider, promising a new landscape for AI development that empowers smaller players and reduces reliance on tech giants. The decision to add kudos will be a crucial step in determining just how far the Alliance can take this vision. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. We'll see you next time. Thank you.